This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles video. Today, we find out if the master armor plating kits are really worth it. Let's get to it. So in the video I did uh, asking the question of whether the armor you get from Agility was worth it or not, one of you fantastic people left a comment saying that you did not use the armor plating kits because the diminishing returns you get from high armor just made them not worth it and you preferred to use the weight reduction kits and spend the points you saved in encumbrance and other places. So that got me thinking. Are the armor kits really worth it? That's what we're going to test. And uh, I have a bunch of stuff here, a bunch of armor. We're going to test the Godbreaker first. And I have it with and without. And I have uh, light, just a basic light, medium, and heavy. We're going to test those as well to see where the armor plating kits become worth using. So we're going to do the same test setup that we did uh, in the agility video. I have our thrall here. Our thrall has a modded godbreaker. It cannot do heavy attack damage. It can only do light attack damage. Everything else on it is static. It's the same as the normal godbreaker. I just removed the heavy attack damage so that we're only taking the light attacks so that we get the same damage values each time. For this one, I will not be wearing my modded bracelet though. We're going to take everything off and I'm going to use Pippi to set my health and I'm going to use the stuff in my hot bar to manage my temperature. Okay, so we are going to start off here with the normal just Godbreaker. It's not going to have any mods on it, nothing. It's just plain old Godbreaker armor. We're going to eat a little ice so we don't get too hot here. Made sure we are in the other guild and now we're going to take a hit. Oh, that's the wrong hit. Let's try again. That's the hit we're looking for. So 338, which means that we took 162 damage. Okay, so now we are going to come over here and we're just testing these two armor kits today. And on these, we're only testing the master. So we're going to test the thick armor plating on the Godbreaker, which is right here. We're going to test that first. And then we're going to test the master armor plating. On When we go to test the... Uh, light, medium, and heavy, we are only going to test the master armor plating. If you guys want to see tests done on the thick armor plating and your other options, let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll see about making that happen. Okay, so we're just going to equip this and then we're going to run up here and get hit again. Hey, hey, you want to hit me? There we go. So that was 338 as well. Let's double check that again. All right, health's filled back up. Let's see if we can get another hit. 338 as well. So uh, there's no difference between putting the thick armor plating on the Godbreaker or just wearing the Godbreaker. And if we take a look at our stats over here, you can see our total damage reduction is at 80. Okay, so we're going to take this off now. We'll put on the other, the normal non-modded Godbreaker. And we'll take a look at our stats. And you can see total damage reduction, 80. So if... All you can make is the thick armor plating and you cannot make the master if all you can make is this. It's not even worth putting that on your Godbreaker because you're not going to get any difference in damage reduction. Okay, so let's see what the difference is with the master armor plating. Okay, health is full. We're ready to be hit again. 341. So we took 159 damage there. You're only reducing four additional damage by putting the master armor plating on Godbreaker armor. So if you are running around in Godbreaker, then you would probably be better off by putting like the weight reduction kits on there because I mean, it is pretty heavy. At least, I mean, the helmet is 30. Gloves aren't too terrible. The leggings are freaking 38. Boots aren't too bad. The chest is 53. Like, that's that's crazy heavy. Okay, now let's test out the light armor with no kits on it. Okay, it took me a second there to get the heat right so I don't regen HP. Let's try testing the light armor. Hopefully, we don't die in one hit. That's not the hit we're looking for. Come on, buddy. I don't know how long this heat's going to last. Just do the thing. Just do the thing. Just give me a light little tap. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so brought us down to 197, which means he hit us for 303 damage. 
Okay, so if we take a look at our stats over here, we're only getting a 39% damage reduction. Okay, so now let's test it with the master armor plating. I think we found a sweet spot on the heat. Here we go. Let's take a hit. That's not the hit we're looking for. Come on. That's the hit we're looking for. 228. That time he did 272 damage to us, which is a difference of 31 points of damage between not having the master kits and having the master kits. So without the kits, we took 303. With the kits, we took 272. So they are definitely worth it on the light armor which is kind of a given but we got to be thorough in our testing okay so now we are going to test the medium armor so let's uh, take cloak off there we go 280 so base medium armor with no kits he did 220 damage to us okay now we're going to test the medium armor with the master armor plating kits all right here we go Come on. That's what we're looking for. 292. So he did 208 damage to us, which is a 12 damage difference. By putting the armor plating kits on our medium armor, we only negated an additional 12 damage. So if we take a look at our stats here, we're at 67% damage reduction with the armor plating. If we re-equip the armor without the plating and we take a look at our stats, we are at 63 Okay, now we are going to test the heavy armor, just the basic heavy armor, uh, with no armor plating. Hey, buddy. Hey, how's it going? You want to hit me? That's not that's not the hit that I want. No, no. Hit me the right way. You know how I like it. There we go. 332. With no kits, he did 168 damage. Okay, now we are equipping the heavy armor with the master armor plating kits. We're going to heal ourselves up grab a little bit of heat so we don't get regen and now we're gonna get uh, this guy to slap us around a little bit there we go perfect so 336 which means we took 164 points of damage which is a four damage difference between having the armor plating and not having the armor plating okay so let's do a quick recap here so if you have the godbreaker armor and that's what you're wearing and you can only make the thick armor plating which i don't know why because you would obviously have the master armor plating if you have the godbreaker armor but that's beside the point it's pointless to put the thick armor plating on your godbreaker armor because there is no damage difference you're still going to take the same amount of damage however if you put the master armor plating on it it reduces a whole four damage with our testing so you get very very minimal damage reduction you're looking at a couple points depending on who attacks you and how hard they hit you now keep in mind that the numbers are going to vary because everybody's damage is different this is just what we saw with our testing here getting hit by a really strong thrall with the sword of Krom. now when it comes to light armor the difference between having the kit and not having the kit on your light armor is rather large. You're reducing 31 additional points of damage in our testing here. So once again, it's going to vary depending on who you get hit by, how much damage they do, how much armor penetration they have, all of that good stuff. But it's definitely worth putting on light armor. But that's common sense. Light armor has very little armor, which means it's going to be a lot harder for you to start hitting those diminishing return numbers. It's going to put you up to where you probably probably should be in your damage reduction um, honestly you should be in heavy armor but if you decide to wear light armor it's going to get you a little bit closer to where you need to be when it comes to medium armor in our testing between not having the plating and having the plating the difference was 12 points of damage so by wearing the plating on our armor we reduced the damage that we took by 12 in that situation i don't know if it's even worth it 12 points at what's 12 points now nah, some people may say that's between life and death but uh i don't know let me know what you think about that one in the comments that one's that one's an iffy one for me that one i feel like could go either way i feel like some people are going to be like 12 points is a lot and once again it depends on the armor penetration they have and all of that stuff if they have less armor pen they're going to do even less damage to you so it may be worth it for medium armor but let me know what you think in the comments for heavy armor, I don't think. I, I just, no. Four points of damage was our difference. I just can't see it. 
I mean, you can argue any amount of, you can argue one, one point of damage is the difference between life and death, but four is just too small. I don't feel like that's nearly enough. This armor isn't super heavy, but it could get the weight reduction on it. I mean, that's 20, or that's 19, um, that's 26. Yeah, it's not as heavy as the Godbreaker, but still, it could, could, uh, use the weight reduction or whatever other armor upgrade you want to put on it, but I don't know, I don't really think the armor plating could be worth it. Um, once again, the weight reduction could do you really good. If you like to climb, you could put the climbing one on there, the stamina use one for when you're climbing, maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments section. All right, so uh, that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my Lee Crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.